Hey ladies and gentlemen at home, here's some wacky stuff I got figured out right here. Check this out. All you need to do this at home is two aluminum cans. I've got the tab from one of the aluminum cans in between the middle there. I've got it strung onto a string which is attached to a pencil which is basically resting on top of the two aluminum cans. Then I've got one wire going from one aluminum can to a piece of aluminum foil which is taped to the television set. The other wire is attached to the other aluminum can which in my house is attached to the antenna or you can attach it to anything you want to that's going to ground out that wire. Then once you got this all figured out all you need to do is turn on the television set and watch what happens. You hear that static electricity? That's fun for the whole family isn't it? And if you can watch what's happening to the thing in the middle there it is bouncing back and forth between the two cans. What's happening is the top of the can is getting electrically charged positively and then electrically charged negatively and as it's changing in charge it's bouncing between the two cans. The can on the right hand side which is attached to the television set is getting electrically charged as we speak. The other can's charge is always neutral because it's being allowed to drain into the ground. So because of that the thing in the middle is constantly changing charges and bouncing back and forth. With my TV, for some reason, when I turn it off, it gets even a more violent electrical charge. Watch this. There it goes. Look at that thing go. <laughs> it goes like crazy. Now, just to let you know, that can on the right is charged up pretty heavily. So if you get close to it and touch it, you will get a little bitty shock. It's harmless, but it's pretty exciting. Watch this. Yes, sir. Fun for the whole family, ladies and gentlemen. Static electricity, you gotta love it. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, never stop wondering. Bye-bye.